The Pacers and the Heat both already clinched playoff spots, but in the last 10 games, neither team is above 500 with some embarrassing losses. And Danny, I want to start with Miami. Last night, they lost to the Pelicans, which I would say that's one of the embarrassing losses. LeBron and Bosch came out after that game speaking out against the team. What does this mean for them right now? Speaking out, LeBron had steam coming out of his ears. I've never seen LeBron James that upset in that press conference. I mean, he wasn't even looking at the, the people who asked him the questions. He was tired of the excuses. He's tired about playing on this crummy team with a lack of heart. And Bosch, when have you ever heard us say that the Heat are a crummy team? I know, it's crazy. They've lost seven out of the last 11 games. Bosch said there's no passion, there's nothing. Their defense cannot stop a nosebleed. I mean, it's been a disaster for them. And, and the let thing us also is, highlight that one of the, one of the four wins in those 11 was a very, very tight one against Cleveland. That's right. And remember, Cleveland is a very crummy team. They've been losing to very, very crummy teams, but now they lately have been the talk of the town as the crummy team. And I can't say it enough. I mean, I'm a little bit happy about it. At the same time, you got to feel bad for them because now with all this disinterest and these injuries, you know, you would think a team like Indiana would start to be putting them in the rearview mirror, but it's But not then we see it also with the Indiana Pacers. They're also in a bind. Is this what's going on with these two teams who we were all expecting to meet in the Eastern Conference Championship? Yeah, we all assumed that they were going to be the two teams play, playing each other to go to the finals, but had, that's not always the case. Right now, Indiana's extremely overworked. Paul George, he shot two for ten in that loss to the Grizzlies. I mean, he's dead tired. He has no legs under him right now. The whole team is kind of playing, you know, kind of a lackluster defense. There was a time where Miami was first in offense and Indiana was first in defense. Now Miami's fifth in offense and Indiana's sixth in defense since the All-Star break. So both of these teams are not going into the playoffs with a lot of steam. And with both of these teams, and the East isn't very tough to begin with, we're making way for Kevin Durant, Oklahoma City Thunder. Kevin Durant is on a tear. Is this going to continue into the playoffs? It's looking like it's not going to stop. This guy dropped 51 points in those, all those overtimes and hit the game-winning bucket. And, of course, he did that without the help of Russell Westbrook, which is always, you know, kind of an ongoing factor. Russell Westbrook will be back, but the way OKC keeps playing, even with teams out there like San Antonio, the Rockets, Warriors, Clippers, this, I believe, is going to be the team to beat, and uh, hopefully that they... And can we see an MVP title? If this guy name. doesn't get MVP, I don't want LeBron to get it, you know that. Maybe a favorite bull of mine could get it, but the thing I think Durant... another show with you mentioning you're the Bulls. Okay, I'm from Chicago, sorry guys. You're okay. <laughs> well, Danny Swivel, thank you very much. Thank you, Marath. That's all for us today. For all the latest sports news, you can find us online, i24news.tv, our Facebook page, or our Twitter page. And please, you can tweet at us, at i24newsports. We'd love to hear from you on there. From all of us here on Sports Weekend, I'm Merav Savir. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to join us again next Sunday for all the sports news.